Hello and welcome to the 70th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at linked list items. We'll be using the source code from the 68th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have basic list group setup. Linked items allow them to be clickable, sort of, well, like a menu. So to do this, it's really simple. So if we open up our index.html, let's open it up first in a web browser so you can see what it looks like. So it looks like this at the moment. And to make it into a linked list, it's like I said, it's really simple. All you have to do is, first of all, change the UL to a div. And obviously you need to close off the div properly. And change all the list items to, well, a ahref. So that is all you need to do. I'm going to put a hash in here. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. Like I said, this is empty and it doesn't go anywhere, but you can make it go somewhere if you want to. Close off the tags. Now let's run this and show you what this looks like. So if we just open up index.html, now as you can see, we have clickable items. And they're not just clickable, they also have this little CSS uh, added to them which is built into Bootstrap so we don't have to really worry about this it just looks really really cool and we're going to go a little step further and what we can do is make an item selected by adding an active class to it so if we just go to one of these I'm going to go to well the third item which is fourth no sorry third aka this one and all you have to do is add a class of active again this is just built into Bootstrap don't need to code any CSS for this refresh and as you see it's already selected and maybe you're on a particular page or you've got a particular section viewed and then you can select a different one obviously you're going to need some sort of jQuery with that it will depend on your website and what you want to do as an extra task what we want you to do is just mess around with the j like get some jQuery and just be able to or like detect when you've clicked one of these menu items or list items and then change the active state. So remove it from this one, for example, and change it to the second one if you put sec if you click second. Uh, then extra task on top of that, what we want you to do is change the text inside here to something a bit more meaningful, like maybe Google, Facebook, Microsoft, YouTube, Twitter, something like that, and give an appropriate link as well. So when you click on it, it does something, it's not too high, you only need to change the ahref and the content inside. We'll just do that as an extra task for some extra learning. The next tutorial will cover disabled list items. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see over 800 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk Sign up today on sonarlearning.co.uk and have the ability to take notes on any video you want privately and you can access them anywhere completely free. All you have to do is go to sonarlearning.co.uk and sign up for free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.